Welcome to a cool cloudy autumnal day in Chesterfield it's early Sunday morning and as you can see it's a bit sparse in the koi pond environment but I'm going to do a few checks on the water parameters on the ground tank here and the main pond later but what I want to talk to you about is something that I've been asked and I did a video a couple of years ago and it's regarding water rebates I'm currently with Seven Trent water for my water supply and my sewage or my drains is with Yorkshire water so basically I pay money to both of them through one bill but what I found out a few years ago is on the top of the uh, bill it mentions your surface water and if it doesn't go down the drain then you could be potentially entitled to some sort of refund I contacted Seven Trent and they asked me a few questions regarding how much water where it goes they sent me a a uh, small form that is very simple to fill in it says measured sewage volume assessment claim form and again I'll list it up here and you can see exactly what you need to fill in a little bit of data and then the information to prove why or how you think you may be entitled to a claim I basically state that I use X amount of water I measure it using there's a meter all the water that goes in the pond the water that's taken out through cleaning and any other process goes to natural soak away they then refund the amount of water that I can prove when I upgraded the main koi pond what I did was I run a water supply down the side of the garden to the pond to feed all that when I installed it I put a meter at the top a grade 2 a class 2 water meter that I actually got from the water board or from the seven Trent water authorities some years ago so I use that and I monitor how much water is put into the pond every six months when I get a bill from the uh, seven Trent whether it be in I think it's April and October what I do is send them a reading and fill a form in regarding the water measurement of wastewater they then refund the service charges for the wastewater I'm not sure what everybody else's water like but I'm about a 60 40 split I'll go through the bill I'll show you the bill, it'll probably appear here somewhere to build bit by bit, I've blanked off the bits that uh, is quite private but you'll get the gist on there, you'll get the water usage and you'll see how and why I qualify for a water rebate or a water refund so you can see from top to bottom how much water I use shows you how much wastage I use or how they calculate the wastage so it mentions your fresh and your waste water which goes where and how it goes and how much you charge for that but it clearly states at the top of the water bill that if you think the surface water or groundwater does not drain off your property into our sewers then please let us know you may be entitled to a refund I'll show you how my setup is and if it's similar to anybody else's you too may be entitled to a refund rebate or a saving on your water bill not all water authorities are the same but if you go online I'm sure there's something similar for all the authorities I'll give you a walk through and I'll show you what uh, what we have in place down the side of my conservatory I've got my main supply for the pond which comes down there and then it goes down underground under the pavers under the soil to the main pond and what I've got here which I'm not sure if you can see properly What I've got there is a certified class 2 water meter and all the water that passes through there goes down to my main pond. The main water goes underground, under the soil, down the side of the pond and into the filter house. When I changed the grass and put the artificial grass in there was a pond before so that is all gravel and the bottom drain goes actually under the edge of that shed under the turf when I relayed the turf I put some land drains that coiled along there down there along there under the path and then down the path down there and the reason why I did that is the next door's conservatory drain there 
doesn't go to drains or anything it just goes to soil land grass so that actually runs down the side of the fence and soaks through into my garden and my grass is normally sodden and muddy but well, since I put the land drain in, it makes it a lot better. Any other water that soaks from there, as you can see, you've got a patch of gravel down there under the pavers, and at the bottom here we've got some more gravel. That's where the land drains come out, and what it does, it soaks down there and goes underneath the floor of the filter house. Underneath here we have a concrete base with a drain hole in there that goes through and that is where the soak away is. Under this concrete is a foot if not more of gravel. The concrete is put there just so I can put the footings for the base of the floor. So you've got a concrete base, you've got some house bricks set about, you've got some pallets and then you've got the boarding on the top. As you can see the shed is sat on breeze blocks but inside there is all gravel as well and that goes down probably two foot and then at side of the back of there you've got to soak away at the, the rest of the gravel and it runs down into the field. Can't see the actual drain at the moment because of the floorboards etc but the three inch drain comes down there goes underneath there side of the inlet then down into the soak away the waste from there also goes down into soak away, as does the water from there. So once I took my reading, I filled in the claims form, attached it to an email and sent it back to customer services. Two weeks later I got an email saying that I got a new bill, and you can see the old bill there is £506 in credit, the new bill is £609 in credit, which is a difference of approximately £102. The charges and everything are exactly the same, but what they've done is taken into account the readings that I've submitted. So as you can see, Yorkshire Sewers is £102.33p in credit. So it's well worth it if you've got a similar setup to mine, or you can prove that your wastewater does not go down the sewers or the main services, you could have a refund. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm sorry it's taken a while to get the video produced, but I was waiting for the refund to be issued by uh, Seven Trent on behalf of Yorkshire Water, just to show how much refund or uh, savings I've had by claiming the water and the uh, non-use of the drains. £102. Some, to some people it's a lot of money, it doesn't sound a lot of money, but in theory that's £102 every six months, so £204 for doing nothing other than filling a form in and uh, proving where the water's going to. If you're in a similar situation, there's a good possibility that you might be entitled to a similar sort of refund, discount, rebate, however you want to call it. Like I say, this is how I managed to get a refund through 7 Trent on my set setup. If anyone's got anything similar, or if you have any questions about it, please write them in the comments below and I'll answer them and help you as best I can. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and check out some more videos. From a cool autumnal evening in Chesterfield, thanks a lot for watching. Happy ponding.